<clears throat> hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, nitrate NO3- ion uh, Lewis dot structure. So here we go. Uh, nitrate is NO3-. So that's going to give us uh, 5 valence electrons from the nitrogen plus 3 times 6 from each of the oxygens plus 1 for the charge. It's going to give us a total of 24 valence electrons. Okay? So, doing my little trick, we can subtract the largest multiple of 8, which is 24, gives us 0. So, it's going to be, since this is 8 times 3, and this is 0, an AX3 shape. And we'll come back to that later on. Okay? So, that means you're going to have 3 atoms attached to the center center atom and no uh, non-bonding pairs. So we have the uh, nitrogen and three oxygens. So we can go ahead and connect them all with a uh, single bond just to start off. Okay, And then we can um, add in all the extra electrons to make each oxygen have its full octet. So that's 24 electrons. There's 8, 8, and 8. It's 24, but if you look, the nitrogen does not have a full octet. So what we have to do is end up making, let's just pick this one to start with, move these two electrons and make this a double bond. Now all, all atoms have their full octet, and this should be a good shape. Now don't forget to add the uh, square braces with the charge on top. Now, what's the state that we couldn't have moved this? Instead of choosing this one, why don't we choose one over here? And actually, that's what we're going to do next. And this is going to be called the uh, resonance structures of the nitrate ion. So there's actually going to be two more. If you notice, there's three oxygens. So we could have taken any two, any pair of, of um, electrons from any oxygen. So there's going to be three uh, resonance structures. So let's go ahead and draw those. Okay, so here's the next one. And then there's actually going to be one more. So let's go ahead and draw that one as well. Make sure you can see this. Okay, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Uh, now we're going to go with the bottom right as the double bond. So three there, three there, and two there. Okay, so these are going to be our three resonance structures. Notice this one has the bottom left of the double bond, this is the top double bond, and this is the bottom right double bond. So that makes them all different, but each of them has the 24 electrons and everything has their full octet. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges. Um, we're going to call this one, this oxygen here, oxygen 1, this is oxygen 2, and this is oxygen 3. So the formal charge for uh, oxygen 1 is going to be, remember, valence brought in is 6, minus... Um, the number of bonds, which is 2, 1, 2, minus the number of non-bonding electrons is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to give us 0. The uh, formal charge of oxygen 2, which is the top one there, is 6 valence brought in minus 1 bond minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six um, non-bonding electrons. That's a negative 1 formal charge. Okay. The uh, formal charge of oxygen 3, which is the lower right one here, is going to be 6 valence brought in minus 1 bond minus 6 non-bonding electrons, just the same as oxygen 2, which is, which is also a negative 1 formal charge. And then we can do the formal charge on the center nitrogen, which is 5 valence brought in minus 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds minus 0 non-bonding electrons, which is a plus 1 formal charge. Now if you add up all these formal charges, that's 0, minus 1, minus 2, back to minus 1. So the, the t overall formal charge is minus 1, which has to match up with the charge of the ion, which it does. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So that's good. Now if you notice, we could just switch up the numbers. If this, if this became oxygen 1, and this was 2, and this is 3, these formal charges would, would be the same for each of these three different resonance structures. So there's no need to calculate these formal charges again because they're going to be the same for each structure. So 
with that formal charge calculation working out correctly, we, we know that this is going to be a, a, correct, a correctly drawn uh, Lewis dot structure. Okay, and now, because this is AX3, this is going to be a uh, trigonal planar uh, molecule shape, all right? And if you want to look at the uh, hybridization for the center nitrogen, it has one, two, three things being attached with three bonding sites. So that's going to be a sp2 bonding site. And in this case, because of um, because each of the three items that are these three atoms that are being bonded to the, the nitrogen, since they are all um, since they are all the same, this is going to go ahead and be a non-polar molecule because all of the um, net dipole moments are going to cancel each other out because they are all from the same atom. They're all from oxygen. So that's going to work out. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.